I sure hope Sister Barbara is okay. Sister Barbara said that she was going out to pick some herbs earlier, but I'm afraid that she has yet to return. Hmm. Perhaps I should report the matter to the Knights of Favonius. You? Well, I guess as the honorary knight, you may very well be a good fit for the task. Not to mention, it would save me the trouble of reporting the matter to the Knights. All right, I'll leave it to you. Before Sister Barbara departed, she said that she was headed to Wolvendom to pick some herbs. You could start by looking for her there. to worry. There hasn't been any sign of danger. I'm just here to gather some red wolf hook berries, that's all. But the strange thing is, there should be lots of wolf hooks here, and I can't seem to find any. Hmm. Well, anyway, no need to worry about me. I'll just have another look around here, and if I can't find any, I'll just... Miss Barbara? Huh? She's not here either. Somebody seems to be coming this way. Oh, I'm sorry, but please just keep quiet, okay? Don't let them find us. Because... Well, just because. All right, then. Let's head this way. Keep your voice down. We mustn't let that person find us here. Oh, this should be a good spot. Let's wait here for a while. Well, it's a little embarrassing to say, but... In Mondstadt, I often perform songs for people. Because it's been so well received, the other sisters have started encouraging me to perform across Tivat. Now, more and more people are showing up to hear me perform. I'm happy to see such turnouts, don't get me wrong. But now, people always stop me on the street when I go shopping or when I go out for personal matters. I know that all they want is to get my autograph or to ask me how I'm doing, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm very thankful for all my fans, but 
Oh, there are simply too many of them. I always do my best to fulfill their requests and not let them down. But sometimes I feel that I just don't have the strength to do so. Even when I'm in the church, people will still come hoping to greet me. I'm constantly in a state of tension no matter where I go. The reason I came here was not only to find wolf hooks for making Tunner's cough medicine, but also to have some quiet time alone. Do you understand that feeling? To sit peacefully and not think about anything? Just by yourself? It's simply the feeling of relaxation. It's been far too long since I've had that feeling. Before I knew it, I was out here all day and forgot to return to the city. Oh yes, there are plenty of the normal variety. But I'm looking for red wolf hooks. No matter how hard I look, I can't seem to find any. I clearly remember that they always grow here. I guess that's all we can do for now. Although it certainly isn't nice to treat someone that way. But today, I simply wish to keep to myself. My father has always worked at the church, and the church has always looked after me. I guess it was only natural for me to join the church when I grew up. And besides, my sister works in the Knights of Bavonius. Oh, I can't even begin to compare with her. Not only is she adept with a blade, she's also capable of shouldering all the Knights of Bavonius' matters on her own. I guess that's just who she is. I've never been able to come close to competing with her. Aside from singing and performing, I don't really have any abilities worth mentioning. Besides, my singing alone could never truly heal the wounds of others. I suppose that's another reason why I decided to join the church. To learn how to truly heal others. Though I may not be particularly skilled in battle, being able to heal the wounds of others is good in its own right. At least, that's what I think. Of course! You are the honorary knight, after all. Feel free to find me for healing anytime. All right, then. That person should be long gone by now. I still need to find some of those wolf hooks. I can't seem to find any of the red variety anywhere. Oh, your help would be much appreciated. Let's search the nearby area. I'm sure we'll find some in no time. Strange. I'm almost certain I've seen lots of red wolf hooks growing here before. Find some red wolf hook berries? Let me have a look. Uh, yep, that should be enough. But it's still strange. I know for sure that I've seen lots of red wolf hooks growing here before. I wonder if someone had already gathered them all. Well, never mind. Thankfully, the berries you gathered should be just enough. Let's go!
glad we finally made it out of there. The Wolvendom Forest is a nice getaway to be alone for a while, but there's not much sunlight. If you stay in there for too long, you can't help but start feeling a little gloomy. A little sunlight always helps keep your spirits up. Ah, yes. Now that we're here, I'd like to go to Don Winery and check on Tunner's condition. I've told him before that he should take it easy and rest for a while, but he never seems to listen. He even told me not to let Guy know anything about it. I'd like to check on him before going back and deciding which medicine I'll need to make. Um, would it be possible to, you know, ask for your help again? If you could go back and report to Sister Victoria while I check on Tunner, oh, that would be a big help. She's most certainly worried about me after being away so long. And besides, there's a lot of matters I still need to take care of back at the cathedral. It would be better if I let her know the situation. Oh, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Back again. If you're looking for Sister Barbara, she's yet to return. Oh, I see. <sighs> Thank Barbados that she's all right. But it sounds like she won't be back anytime soon. Hmm. Perhaps I'll have to pass her responsibilities in the cathedral to someone else. Oh, well, that's most kind of you. I certainly wouldn't want to trouble you. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, you could help tidy up around the cathedral a bit. People tend to bring dust in as they come into the cathedral, so the floor is often quite dirty. Cleaning and the like have always been Sister Barbara's responsibility. So the moment she's gone, everything starts getting dirty. Yes, that's right. She always said that she could handle it herself and that there's no need to ask anyone else to help her. But she does often appear quite exhausted after she's finished with the cleaning. To be honest, I'm most surprised that you are willing to help, or rather that Barbara is willing to let you help. However, this would help to lighten her burden. Anyway, I'll let you handle the cleaning for now, Honoré Knight. you've helped me today, both here in the cathedral and back in Wolvendom. You must be thirsty after so much work, no? How about I treat you to a drink? Oh, I've just remembered that the cat's tail is promoting a special drink recently. Miss Margaret said that the name of the drink is Fantastic Summer Serendipity Coral Sparkling Tea. <laughs> she also mentioned that it's her secret weapon to beating Angel's share in drink sales. Where it is that the drink's pretty good. But there's always a line to get it. We'll probably have to wait if we want some. If you'd rather not stand in line, I could make you a glass of my very own chili brew. Which would you like to drink? Coming right up! But I should warn you, the flavor is quite unique. I'm not sure how you'll handle it. 
All right, let me think. To make this drink, we'll need some fresh Joyeun chilies and sweet flowers. The key to a good batch of chili brew is not the quantity of ingredients, but the quality of ingredients. I know where to gather fresh Joyeun chilies, but sweet flowers might be a bit tricky. Though they're easy to find, high quality sweet flowers are few and far between. Oh, why don't we split up to search for ingredients? Once we've found the ingredients we need, we can meet up just south of the Whispering Woods. Oh, you really think so? Okay then. With the honorary knight by my side, I can gather ingredients without a care in the world. Oh, and by the way, even though I've already requested a half day's leave from Sister Victoria, she always insists that I still give her my itinerary for any trips I take. We should go check in with Sister Victoria first. We could say... Hmm, we're going out to gather some herbs. Oh, Sister Barbara, is something the matter? I'd like to go to the Whispering Woods to pick some herbs. It shouldn't take long. Oh? But didn't you just submit a request for half a day's leave to see a friend? Now you suddenly intend to go herb picking? Hmm. I thought you would take a rest today. Still, you may do as you please with your plans. I won't interfere. But the Whispering Woods are quite a distance away. Perhaps you should request a guard from the Knights of Avonius? With the honorary knight by my side, I'm sure everything will be just fine. Thank you for informing me. I've noted down your plans. Please do come back soon. Thank you. All right, we're good to go. Let's head out. flowers growing here are some of the highest quality. I often pick them here, but why are there so many monsters around? <sighs> Let's take care of them first. Then we can look for sweet flowers in the vicinity. Retribution! Ha! Ha! <laughs> Born of ice and frost. Don't waste my time. Submit. <sighs> I guess that takes care of them. 
You truly are the honorary knight. You barely broke a sweat. Oh, stop right there. Looks like you hurt yourself on your arm there. No, no, no. Even a graze can turn into a wound of unimaginable evil if you let it. Wait just a second. I'll have it healed in no time. That should do it. Okay. Let's have a look for these sweet flowers. Hello there. Excuse me, but aren't you the deaconess of the Church of Favonius? Uh, yes, I am. Are you all right? Oh, praise the Archons. Please, can you heal me? I'm, I'm a hunter from Springvale. I was attacked by monsters when I passed through here. I was lucky to have escaped, but please, won't you heal me? Treasure who now? <coughs> Don't be silly. Would a treasure hoarder get injured and then stop a couple of passers-by begging to be healed? Ugh, don't be ridiculous. Me? A treasure hoarder? Look here. Aren't these monster injuries? How could I have done this to myself? How can you be so heartless? How could I make the journey with all these terrible injuries? <laughs> it's no wonder looking at you. You adventurers are all alike, suspicious by nature. Sister Deaconess, you believe me, right? Heal me, I beg of you. Mm, yes, I will heal you. Oh, his wounds look difficult to heal. I'll need some herbs. Can you watch him for me? Okay. I'm going to look for some small lamp grass in the area. Please stay with him, and make sure no monsters get to him. You... <clears throat> Fine, heartless adventurer. I'll stay hidden, Sister Deaconess, but please be back soon. I beg of you. We'll be back soon. Don't worry. I know what you're thinking. I've heard a lot about the criminal methods of the treasure hoarders around Mondstadt. Usually, if I come across a person like this, I'd simply ask them to seek help from somebody at the church. But this fellow is in serious condition. He needs urgent healing. After all, I've got an honorary knight at my side to protect me, right? Hmm. Let's gather the small lamp grass and head back so we can heal him. I'll protect us. Sister Deaconess, you're back. This should do the trick. Hold on a moment. You adventurers really are jumpy these days. All right, that should do it. But just to be safe, you should probably pay a visit to the church. <laughs> no need. I should be able to recover by myself. Uh, Sister Deaconess, why weren't you suspicious of me? Like the adventurer here. Surely you've heard about the treasure hoarders and their methods. <laughs> Feigning injury by the roadside, begging for healing to get close to travelers, then striking at the opportune moment. You know, stuff like that. And that's just one of their methods. Weren't you worried that I might have been looking to harm you? Um, it crossed my mind. And yet, why did you still help me? Oh, the fact was you needed healing, right? And you hadn't done anything wrong. You just asked me for help. Whatever your true identity, in my eyes, you were merely a person in need of healing. Sister Deaconess... The truth is, I am a treasure hoarder. My plan was to feign injury in order to take advantage of the situation. But I ran into a group of monsters. I barely made it out. Then I realized I actually had to seek help from someone. Anyone. But travelers all kept their distance. None of them believed me. Until you showed up. 
I can't thank you enough for healing me. I feel strong enough to carry on now. I won't trouble you anymore. Oh. Well, the best thing would be for you to come back to Mondstadt with us. The church can help with your treatment. You're not fully healed yet. Please, I've taken up enough of your time. Oh, these are for you. I'm afraid I have nothing of value to give, but I picked these sweet flowers from nearby. Take them, as thanks for healing me. I will remember your kindness. In the future, if you have any trouble with treasure hoarders, just mention my name, Uwe. I guarantee they won't dare touch the hem of your jacket. I must go. Farewell. <laughs> what a strange character. But I hope his wounds will be okay. At least we got a hold of some sweet flowers. We were running out of time for me to whip you up some chili brew. Oh, wow! This is a great batch! That's everything we need. It's getting late. Let's get back to Mondstadt. Pretty tiring. I'm a deaconess. Healing the wounded is something I must do. Besides, I have a vision. Even if you did try anything, I'd have been able to handle it. Not to mention, I had the honorary knight with me. If there'd been any danger, you would definitely have protected me, right? If I was alone... Hmm... Well, for a vision bearer, I'm more adept at healing. If there were too many enemies, I guess I would have been defeated after a while. However, because I would have been alone, I wouldn't have risked an ambush by stopping to heal him myself. I would have just left some herbs with him instead. I'm good at remembering self-defense tactics like that. After all, as Sister Victoria always says, don't go around healing people in the wild. Then again... What's the point of having a vision if I can't stretch the rules once in a while? <laughs> oh, the chili brew! It shouldn't take long to make. Why don't you wait for me in the garden next to the Adventurer's Guild? I'll bring it straight over when it's ready. <sighs> Rebooting. for the delay. The chili brew is ready. Why don't we drink these here? Here. This one is for you. Let me know what you think. Really? Is the flavor okay for you? I was worried you might not like it. Um, now that you mention it, I guess I'm the only one in the whole of Mondstadt that likes chili brew. Well, I like chili brew because... Uh, oh. Actually, it's a little embarrassing. At first, I drank chili brew just to keep me awake. When I first began singing practice, I had to get up early every day. After practice, I would go to work at the church to take care of official matters. But because I was getting up so early, my singing wasn't getting any better. Sometimes I'd be half asleep singing the wrong lyrics. It was a disaster. I went to people for advice on how to stay awake. They had all kinds of methods. 
running, chewing mint. One adventurer even told me that they'd fight slimes to stave off sleep. None of those ideas worked for me. They were too time-consuming. By the time I started to feel awake, there was hardly any time left for practice. <laughs> that was until I started chewing chewy and chilies. <laughs> That's what Sarah said. She told me not to chew them, but to use the Julian chilies to make some kind of drink, something milder in flavor. Using sweet flowers to temper the flavor was also her idea. That's when I started using this new and improved chili brew method. After a while, I actually started to enjoy the flavor. Whenever I drank it, the spiciness would always push me to work harder. I don't know what to say. My determination is nothing compared to yours. I heard Amber say that you're traveling far and wide looking for your sibling. Is that true? Oh, the things you faced, and those yet to come, are more difficult than a few bad songs. Even if I can't assist you in other ways, when it comes to healing, you can count on me. No matter the wound, I will help you recover. Oh, <sighs> Have I said too much? Sorry, I'm not used to taking a break. I keep boring you to death. It's not often I get so much freedom. Let's just take our time and drink our drinks. Tomorrow, it's back to chasing our dreams with hard work. I hope our dreams can come true in the end. <laughs>